so scared. What's he going to do? Mom, what do I do if it jumps at me? No, it's all right. We'll figure it out. Call me back in a little bit. Bye. Egg Unless She presents Rip and Chips, Lips, and Canna Dips. It's been a busy couple of weeks playing backyard whack a mole with the chipmunks, and of course, a few squirrels, rats, and a bully stop by too. So, got a couple things to show you, but first, let me introduce this chipper to the new 47 grain 762 bullet from NSA. I now have these in 22, 25, and 30, and as you can see, they are flying absolutely perfect. One quick observation about these bullets uh, before we get back to some chipper smashing. Uh, these things are flying stable at pretty much any speed I send them. And as you know, I like to turn things down in my backyard to keep things quiet and safe. And then I turn it up when I get into the woods or at the farm. Uh, that typically means I'm switching from bullet to pellet, which is a giant pain in the butt. Not anymore. The 25 and the 30 have both flown perfect at slow speeds and then obviously at the faster speeds that they typically require. So uh, they even expand a little bit at these slow speeds. I was just blown away. So I'm super excited about these. More, uh, including some long range that I've already started filming, by the way. And spoiler alert, they're rad. Uh, enough ammo talk for now. Let's, uh, let's get right back to smashing some chippers. I've been getting tons of fan footage sent over of late over on the DMs on IG. So here's one, and he does not subscribe to the low power backyard shooting like I do with his Leshy 2. Wow. The chipmunks arrived kind of late this year, or so I thought. It just so happens that the main den had just moved. And I was cleaning out a window on the other side of my office when I looked down and I saw one and another and another. And they were basically denning up along the foundation underneath these rocks. So this was a six yard-ish kind of shot at a really extreme angle. So I grabbed the 762, which I have set up here for target shooting with the March shorty. One of 10x LPVO and the uh, and the D ball up front. I'm actually going to be doing um, a whole thing with this setup here soon. But the shorty is just an ex like an incredible scope uh, where you get the best of both worlds from this dual reticle of a single focal plane and a fixed focal plane. Uh, and again, I don't want to dive into it now, but uh, we'll get into that in a later video. This thing's incredible. So. Uh, for today's purposes, it's the optic of choice for extreme close-up shots like this. Uh, so I had kind of had to guess on this holdover, figuring uh, a little bit lower was probably better than high. And I was right, but I got the benefit of the bullet bouncing off that stone and back up into it, so it was lights out. Uh, I didn't actually watch that footage before this next one came uh, out and uh, I just knew I was a little low so on this one I went a little high and I got a haircut and a story to tell its mates Today is an exciting one as I have not one but two new table for ones that have entered the battlefield The legacy of this iconic piece of wood actually puts a ton of pressure on me when I'm building a new one Let alone two but almost on cue, my boys over at Canadips sent me over a little care package. A big thanks to them for sponsoring today's video as well. These are amazing little dip pouches and they come in a bunch of different flavors. But there's a twist. There's zero tobacco or nicotine. These things are actually healthy. Uh, there is one magical ingredient though that helps me in stressful times. Like building a new table for one. Or a shot like this that I'm about to take that I'm not quite sure hit the mark. That ingredient is CBD. Without going into the weeds, uh, they developed a way uh, using coconut fiber to not only maintain awesome flavor, but with this water dispersible technology, it absorbs rapidly in your mouth so you can just enjoy it like a normal dip, minus the spitting. Uh, you actually don't have to do that part. And that's actually a big plus as it makes it super discreet. Uh, this product is awesome, 10 out of 10. 100% recommend, and that's why I asked them if they could give me a big discount for you guys, and boy, did they deliver in an awesome way. Use the link in the description or pinned comment along with the promo code EDGUN for 20% off. Thanks to Canadips for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's watch as I learn my new holdovers in real time for this a little bit closer Table for One Mini.
At first glance, I thought I drilled it, given how the thing just fell like a stone. However, with the benefit of slow-mo replay that we're watching here, it does look like this guy got a haircut versus a dirt nap. So, yeah, see, look at that. It just looks like, watch him just right here. Just like, and I got to see that part. Well, let's walk out and see. Son of a gun. Well, that's the benefit of a 7.62 bullet. All you gotta do is just clip him a little bit. And yes, I did say bullet. I just got these NSA bullets as uh, I was wrapping up filming of this particular video. But I've been shooting with them uh, a little bit while I was finalizing and editing. And if you are a Leshy 2 owner, I'll drop a link in the description. I am telling you without question, these are the most accurate ammo I have ever shot out of all of these calibers. Actually, I still have 22 and 177 to test. But uh, I've run them in 30 at all different crazy speeds. And I've run them in 25 and my mind is blown. So more on these in upcoming videos, but uh, you can also follow along in real time as I'll be talking about them in my testing over on Instagram of, on my main account, which is at a gun leshy. It took no time at all for the squirrels to come check out this mini table for one. I actually have it at this location right on this little game trail that literally every critter uses in my yard to go or to get into my yard for my neighbors. So squirrels will venture out a little bit, but chipmunks, they don't deviate very far from uh, their known paths. And that's why I had to bring this one in a little bit so that I could ambush them. I still get questions and comments all the time asking me if the pellet is bouncing off. So play this one over and over if you're in that camp. And if you still aren't sure, I'll answer it for you. It's a total pass through. All the critters got in on the action. So I smoked this rat with a 25 cal Leshy 2 that I have turned way down for some nighttime rat and skunk blasting. Because skunks actually don't require that much power. So it's so quiet, but apparently not quiet enough. As I swear, uh, the backyard bullies hear that shot go off, and it's like a dinner bell. So I'm not sure how I miss these guys, but security cameras are on 24-7. And a few backyard bullies slipped in under the wire to eat that rat. Thank you. Probably saved their life that night. Uh, and then check out these two new pieces of lumber. This big one knocked off the can of dips tin. Do a little bastard. So he'll have his turn soon enough. So it was back to the day and the chippers really started to pile up. Uh, I emptied this one's head with a 47 grain NSA bullet. Nighty night, Theodore. Next up, I ear holed this mangy looking squirrel. Its skin was so gross. I just actually cut off his tail to use uh, and I put him in the possum food bin in the woods. Uh, those guys don't give a shit. Uh, they'll eat their own ass if they could. Let me give you a little close-up here so you can kind of see the new lawn furniture. This one, I have some leftover turf and then duck seal behind it as the backstop. So this does a couple of things. One, it helps mitigate the risk of a pass-through, as you've seen on a few of these shots, as well as really quiet it down uh, during a pass-through right with that duck seal. So I don't have that yet on the main table for one back here. Uh, but man, do I 100% need to add it. Listen to this shot as I cracked off last night. I went into emergency fake call the dog mode to try to cover up what sounded like a 22 long rifle uh, when that NSA slug hit the 4x4 backstop. Listen to this. Holy crap, Piper! Uh, yeah, that didn't work. Uh, this guy was in the shadows, though. Check out how cool this tracer was. It was just absolutely perfect. Boom. This is actually the first iteration of the mini table, and as you can see, it had some design flaws. Here's one last shot on the previous table for one. The clarity on these March optics is just something else. I mean, look at that. It's just absolutely stunning. We're gonna wrap this video up with three of my favorite shots. The energy dump on each one of these is different. You'll see on the last one, uh, but all just incredible. I mean, look at that. Backflip, backflip, you can see the entry and exit. 
That 7.62 NSA slug is no joke. This one, too, is like the clarity of these scopes, man. It's just so crazy. But this one, watch, watch the pass through on this guy. Boink. That's actually a Hades. Uh, this that particular shot was uh, a JSB Hades. You can see it kind of bounce off that, almost go into that four by four. And then here is the last one. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started.